Hey friends, okay, so I'm up here on the hill. I wanted to go ahead and do a quick video where I just kind of show y'all guys what I have done so far. Uh, I've recorded the steps as I've been building it. It's just I don't have enough to make an actual video out of it yet. I mean, if I put it together like it is, it'd be about an hour long and it'd only get us to this where we are here. So what I did on both ends of the structure, this end here, and that end down there, I built a tripod. I just took three sticks and then I tied them together at the top and I lifted it up and spread them out. And that gave me a tripod, right? A nice structure that'll hold a lot of weight on top of it. Now I put a ridge pole, this main single pole here, coming down to another tripod that I built on this end. Now I put a fourth pole on this one here and the reason for that is, look at how nice this is. It makes a perfect entryway. So I've got two poles on this side and two poles on this side, making this kind of triangle walkway through here or entryway. And now I can come through and close up these sides and put a door over this here. And that'll be the entryway. Then back here, I put the third leg of the tripod out further, which as you can tell, it's not just, it doesn't just close this way. Now it closes like this in a triangle that gives me so much more room inside. I had thought about doing a tripod in four places and trying to build like an actual kind of cabin structure. I think that would be far, far too much work. Uh, and then there are all kinds of structural problems that will occur because of the weight of the snow, the snow load. This, the, uh, the triangle like this is one of the best structural designs for a shelter like this. Now my tarp, my tarp here was gigantic. It was like 50 by 50. It was also really old and so it has holes and stuff in it. Also, it's been used for several different things. So it has holes that have been cut in it, like this here and this here. So I wasn't able to cover the whole thing in one solid waterproof piece like I thought I was going to be able to. Now the fix for this, I basically used it like it was shingles on a roof. Uh, and there, I will explain later uh, the way that they lay out so that the shingles can be stacked to keep the water out. I did, how to explain simply, I tried to close as much of the ridge, the center part, as I possibly could because the ridge diverts the water off of both sides and keeps the water from dripping down straight. So after that's closed off, I came up underneath it with pieces. I just cut five, seven, eight foot pieces off and just started layering them one on top of the next, trying to pay attention to where the water's gonna run off of one and onto the other one. Instead of the water running off of one and underneath the one below it, the next one down. And this is pretty much what I've got so far, I guess. Now, I am going to come in here once it's closed up a little bit better, I'm going to dig this out and flat, make it nice and level. I have to figure something out, maybe like a ditch that goes around the perimeter to keep the water out, that kind of stuff. Also, I can use the dirt to help cover the edges and insulate it as well. Let's see, what else do I have? Is that about, I think for right now, that's about it. I do like all the rocks out here. So the gentleman that I work for hates rocks, as do, I understand, most farmers. Uh, because, well, rocks are not soil and farmers dig soil so that they can grow things in them. We can't grow things in rocks. So most all of the rocks uh, have wound up up here. And I like rocks if they're not in the way because they can be used. So, and like that, the gentleman I work for said I can build anything I want as long as it can be pushed over by a tractor. Uh, so I am looking forward to going around and gathering up all these different loose big rocks and coming in here and kind of like using it to build maybe a rock wall or some kind of staircase that comes up this here uh, or something around the sides. Uh, 
I don't know. I just, you know, y'all guys know I dig like Neolithic construction and stuff like that. So this is like right up my alley. As much as I'm trying to make it post-apocalyptic, I'm also thinking like Conan, basically, you know, which I find post-apocalyptic and Conan kind of go hand in hand. It's just, you know, Conan was never walking around and found a five gallon bucket or something, you know. However, most of the things that we have nowadays, I find, are just the same thing that they had way back in time. For instance, a five gallon bucket is simply a container that will hold five gallons that we use to carry. So the, the form of it, the way it looks and what it's made of is different. However, a bag made out of animal skins and sticks, they're all wrapped together are basically the same thing as a five gallon bucket because it does basically the same thing. So I find that post-apocalyptic things and uh, besides weaponry, the, well, okay, I'm gonna get off on a tangent. Most post-apocalyptic things are merely mimicking things from deep past, you know, thousands to hundreds of thousands of years ago. We're, I guess we're all just trying to survive, you know? Okay, so that's what I have. Uh, I've got full disclosure because I have a ladder over here. Uh, that ladder, though, was more trouble than it was worth. I'll try and include it in the video unless it's just 10 minutes of me, you know, just, <laughs> never mind. Uh, not, we'll say not being successful with the ladder. And uh, move on from here. So now I'm trying to get a hold of like my friends and stuff. It's been really overcast, so I haven't been able to get on Instagram. I'm gonna see if I can send everybody out some messages and stuff. Hey, Instagram friends. And uh, then keep on going with the day. I am, I have learned a lot of stuff throughout my life that I apply to my life and that can be applied to life in general. So uh, here recently, I've been trying to brush up on a lot of it. Uh, largely because I want to try and get my counselor's license this next year. Uh, also, I've thought about writing a book, basically, uh, that probably will use excerpts from my life. A book, though, that isn't my life story. It's more the things I've learned about life, uh, my perspectives, opinions, and a lot of the tools that I use. I want to put it together kind of as a shorter read so that I... Uh, it's easier to follow and easier to use basically allowing the reader to research the things that i'm talking about to find their validity rather than trying to include it in the book as a reason why this knowledge is useful and what verifies it i uh, maybe give references to how to find what i'm talking about and further study it kind of because honestly, my success in life in learning useful knowledge and applying it to life to have better friendships, relationships, a happier life, a better quality of life comes from a lot of study uh, and about a lot of different fields. I think it's interesting. Back in the day, we had what was called the Renaissance man. Nowadays, we'll just say a Renaissance person, right? Uh, and what that is, a Renaissance person is somebody who learns a lot of stuff about a lot of different uh, fields or different things, and then they're able to apply general knowledge to almost any situation. I find that doing well or succeeding in life, you know, those good interactions with life, the people in it, uh, comes from that very same mentality, the ability to learn and study a lot of different fields and apply it in our everyday life. Also, I think the trick is finding the concentration to, to remember from day to day that that's what we're doing, making those conscious decisions to do something rather than just doing something because we feel like it at the time, if that makes any sense. Anyway, I'm really, really excited about it. Like I said, I've been going over a lot of my old studies and stuff, the fields of knowledge that I've practiced on up until now to try and kind of like, I don't know, pass that on or pass that out there, throw it to the, throw it to the wind, you know? Just, in hopes that it might help somebody. 
anyway good day here need to get some more stuff cleaned up around my place i don't know what it is it's just like it's all pretty orderly you know it's just i've got this pile of uh leaves and twigs and junk here needs to be taken care of i need to get the the rest of these stakes here or props those poles up to the shelter it's going to be a lot more fun when it starts to snow honestly because that'll turn it from just basically camping up on the up on the hill to an actual thing with like a goal and a purpose if that makes any sense okay thank you for being there friends really appreciate you remember never give up never surrender because you're worth it and remember to have faith in yourself we can do it